What's up everyone, Corey here with Xbox Tavern with another review. This time I'm taking a look at Panic Porcupine. And no, he is not a hedgehog. No, he's not a boy made of meat. But if you've played games with those types of things, this might look familiar to you. In a mashup style game of Sonic the Hedgehog and Super Meat Boy, Panic Porcupine has this very, what can be fast paced action uh, that requires you to play these levels and collect chicka birds. That's right, there are these birds around all the levels and once you collect all of them, you complete the level. But there's more to it than that. There are going to be obstacles and anything in your way that will try to kill you. This game is not shy on its death traps uh, there are saws galore, cement pits, and other things that are just out to kill you and your momentum. Now, you're going to be running most of the time from left to right, in, in a sense, in the beginning at least. Uh, eventually, the levels, uh, which are not incredibly long, some are even one screen. But you're going to be going from uh, the starting point and trying to find and gather these chickens. Along the way there are collectible eggs. Those mean nothing except for completionists who want to 100% the game. You will need to find every egg and some of them are in just the right place where you are going to have to skate by death in order to grab it. But otherwise your goal is to just get these chicka birds. Now you will learn that you can run in this game, you can jump in this game, and you can turn into a ball. You can't sit there and charge up the ball form, but as you're going down a hill, if you press X on the Xbox controller, you will turn into a ball and that will actually get you more momentum than just running down it. And you're going to be able to use this mechanic in order to reach higher places uh, or to get to a certain part of the level that you need to get to in order to progress. Now, like I said, it's a very challenging game. They, the levels are split into different stages uh, of 10 levels each uh, before you get to, a, well, the 10th level is a boss level. And in what I like to say is Sonic fashion, you're going to be just hitting the boss over and over until all of the hit points, uh, I'll call it, are gone. You'll be finding that in order to get to these places and to attack the boss, you're gonna find some things like cannons or cannon-like type things that will shoot you in places. You're going to find rings, not the ones you collect, but ones that you hang on to in order to get places. There are poles that you have to time correctly when you spin on them in order to launch you in a certain direction. There are bounty balls and bumpers everywhere trying to stop you and slow you down. But yeah, that is this game. If you want a challenge, you play Panic Porcupine. If you want to really kill yourself, you try to complete Panic Porcupine 100% and get all of the eggs. I think it's funny and it's pretty smart of them to know how hard their game is. Even in World 2, I came across a split path in that stage and you could go to a level maybe four or five, one of the two, uh, but one of them has a helpful hint at the beginning that says, you can go back to the map if it's too hard for you. They knew and know that that is a tough level, so they don't make you do it in order to progress. Kudos to them on that. Otherwise, what you're seeing right now is kind of what you're getting with this game. If you are all about really challenging platforming, and especially with speed built into it, you should check out Panic Porcupine. Just a quick hit on the graphics and the audio. The graphic style is obviously this eight or 16 bit, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, style, which I think works with this fast paced platforming. Um, and the audio is really on point. It fits the aesthetic just right. Uh, I really enjoyed the soundtrack that I heard while playing the game, but I think that will do it for me. Be sure to check out xboxtavern.com where I'll have my score of the game. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this gameplay, and maybe, just maybe, it has convinced you to try Panic Porcupine. See ya!